Hello, my name is Jason Hornick. I'm the Director of Surgical Pathology and Immunohistochemistry at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and Professor of Pathology at Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. In this session, I'm going to discuss metastatic carcinoma of unknown primary, a diagnostic approach using immunohistochemistry. I have the following disclosures. I am a consultant to Eli Lilly and Epizyme. So strictly speaking, the carcinoma of unknown primary is defined as histologically confirmed metastatic carcinoma for which a primary site cannot be identified after a standard diagnostic approach, which should include all of the things you'd think about, a detailed history and physical exam, blood counts, biochemical analyses of the blood, urinalysis, occult blood in the stool, uh, and extensive imaging. Uh, and then, of course, histologic review, including immunohistochemistry. So, in fact, most cases, when we're approaching them as pathologists and we're thinking, wow, this is a carcinoma of unknown primary, are not actually unknown primaries. They're only unknown to us. The surgeon, the oncologist, the radiologist might know very well where the primary site is. Um, and unfortunately, as you all well know, we get so many cases where the pathology requisition has very limited information. Liver mass or liver masses rule out carcinoma, whereas in actuality, by radiologic imaging, there's a clearly defined pancreatic mass, and here's a liver biopsy just to confirm metastatic pancreatic carcinoma, and they just have neglected to provide us with, with enough information. So as we go through this session, we're really not only talking about carcinoma of unknown primary, we're talking about what are the markers that are helpful to support our, our impression or a clinical impression uh, of a metastasis from a known site, or in patients who have more than one potential primary, how do we sort out the differential diagnosis with immunohistochemistry? But if we strictly define it as I've just discussed, Carcinoma of unknown primary does account for between 2 and 5% of malignancies diagnosed in the United States, and it's a relatively common cause of cancer deaths in both sexes. Um, the, the incidence, the new cases of carcinoma of unknown primary in the U.S. has really um, dramatically decreased from the mid-90s by almost 50%, which we believe uh, is due to both a combination of improved radiologic imaging and increasingly specific markers for immunohistochemistry, which will be the focus of our session. There are some very helpful data that are important to keep in mind when you're first approaching these sorts of cases, which were pr pretty much developed by uh, older autopsy studies where patients had carcinoma of unknown primary with widespread metastases and at the time of autopsy, uh, a likely primary site was finally identified. So if you look at this table, the vast majority of cases turn out to be from the pancreas, lung, uh, colorectum, uh, or biliary tree. So if you really focus on those areas, um, it can be very helpful just, just as a starting point. And certainly you can have metastatic carcinomas of unclear primary from a wide range of other sites, as you see lower down in that list. For some of these cancer types, we have excellent markers, and unfortunately for others, as we'll come back to, especially the pancreas and biliary tree, we still don't yet have highly sensitive and specific markers, so we do rely on excluding other possibilities uh, and uh, paying careful attention to radiologic finding. 